Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of speed, innovation, and jaw-dropping technology because we're talking about the fastest train in the world. Imagine traveling hundreds of miles in just a couple of hours, cutting your commute in half, and barely feeling a bump along the way. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. Let me introduce you to the absolute speed demon of the railways, the Shanghai Maglev train in China. Before we go full steam ahead, a quick disclaimer. I'm not an engineer, physicist, or railway expert, but I've done my research and I can't wait to share some awesome facts and insights about this marvel of modern technology. Buckle up, or should I say, hold on tight, because this is going to be a wild ride. Let's start with what makes the Shanghai Maglev train so special. The word Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. This isn't your regular train that runs on wheels and rails. Oh no, this bad boy floats. Using powerful magnets, the train literally hovers about 10 millimeters above the track. That's right, no wheels, no friction. This technology allows it to achieve mind-blowing speeds of up to 431 kilometers per hour, 268 miles per hour during its daily operations. And in testing, it's reached an incredible 603 kilometers per hour, 375 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, at its top speed, this train could outpace most commercial airplanes during takeoff. Now, here's the cool part. The Shanghai Maglev isn't just a prototype or something only the super rich can afford. It's been in operation since 2004 and runs between Shanghai's Pudong International Airport and Longyang Road Station. The entire 30-kilometer journey takes just 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Think about that. 7 minutes to cover what would take at least 45 minutes by car in traffic. It's like teleporting. But how does magnetic levitation work? Without getting too technical, it's all about the interaction between magnets and electricity. The track and the train have coils of wire that create magnetic fields. By carefully controlling these fields, engineers can lift the train off the ground and propel it forward at insane speeds. No wheels mean no friction, which is one of the main reasons maglev trains can go so fast. Plus, they're super smooth and quiet. You barely even feel like you're moving. Now, you might be wondering, why isn't every train in the world a maglev train? Great question. While the technology is amazing, it's also incredibly expensive to build and maintain. The Shanghai maglev cost a whopping $1.2 billion USD to construct. That's for just 30 kilometers of track. On top of that, the infrastructure is so specialized that traditional trains can't use it. This limits where maglev trains can go. For now, they're mostly seen as a glimpse into the future of transportation. Speaking of the future, did you know that Japan is also working on its own maglev train? The Cho Shinkansen, or the linear motor car, is currently under development and aims to connect Tokyo and Nagoya in just 40 minutes, a journey that usually takes over 90 minutes by conventional bullet train. This new train is expected to hit speeds of up to 505 kilometers per hour, 314 miles per hour. Japan has always been a leader in train technology, so it's exciting to see what they'll achieve with maglev. All right, let's throw in some fun facts to keep this ride exciting. Did you know the Shanghai maglev doesn't touch the track at all during its journey? It's literally suspended in the air the entire time. Also, unlike traditional trains, which produce noise from wheels and tracks grinding together, maglev trains are almost silent. And here's a mind-blowing tidbit. The technology behind magnetic levitation has been around for decades, but only recently have we seen it put to use on such a grand scale. But here's the thing. While maglev trains are undeniably fast and futuristic, there is still debate about whether they're worth the cost. High-speed rail systems like Japan's Shinkansen or France's TGV are more affordable to build and operate, and they're plenty fast for most people's needs. So, the question becomes, should we prioritize speed or practicality? Personally, I think maglev trains are an incredible symbol of human ingenuity. They show us what's possible when we push the boundaries of science and engineering. And while they may not be practical everywhere just yet, they're paving the way for a future where traveling at lightning speed could become the norm. Imagine hopping on a train in New York City and arriving in Washington, D.C. in less than 30 minutes. That's the kind of future maglev technology is pointing us toward. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world's fastest train and learned something new about magnetic levitation technology. 
If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more fascinating topics, and share this video with someone who loves trains or futuristic tech. Before we wrap up, let me know in the comments, would you take a ride on the Shanghai Maglev? Or do you think high-speed rail systems like the Shinkansen are more practical? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.